Keeping my mind on things above. How will I hold on to nothing that's broken off for me? I won't. Keeping my mind on things above. Beauty of God, the beauty of God. in places. Now you say I'm fully known. No, no. Lord, I rise up, I rise up, my mind on you. When it's all over and done with, I'll be found in you. I rise up, I rise up, my mind on you. It's all over and done with, I'll be found in you yeah. You were the one who redeemed me, yeah Down in the valley you see me, yeah Open the word up, I'm loving these promises Father, I stand in agreement, yeah Look at this place, I'm seated, yeah I ain't perfect, I reach for that You can find me in the holy sanctuary Right with my leader, yeah, yeah. When I call, you answer me Got heaven on my mind Lord, you said I'm righteous Now you fill me with new wine I'm gonna lift the name of Jesus up With every line He's dead like every time, time, time Letting go with these burdens Meditate on this book you gave I'm surrounded by mercy Reach for heaven, I'm full of faith I'm in love with this fellowship Your testimony is my testimony May the God of peace come and rain down on my territory Keeping my mind on things above How will I hold on to nothing that's working off for me? I won't Keeping my mind on things above Seated in heavenly places Now you say I'm fully known No, no Lord, I rise up, I rise up, my mind on you When it's all over and done with, I'll be found in you I rise up, I rise up, my mind on you When it's all over and done with, I'll be found in you uh, I give no room for hesitation If it ain't your thoughts, I don't want it, I'm arresting the one who's greater Reveal your love, it's the only heart I wanna be displayed yeah. Teach me to love so I can show it to my neighbor Jesus Christ, my savior Now you turn my life around and set me on a way I should go Now I'm on holy ground Sing to the king from the top of my lungs From the top of my lungs I surrender me Lord, have anything in me that's hindering Boy, you can have it all Have everything now Teach me to walk so it's you they see I'm keeping my heart on all you are now this heavenly mind is all I want Heavenly mind is Keeping all I want Keeping my mind on things yeah. above this heavenly mind, this heavenly mind. How would I hold on to nothing that's working off for me? I won't Keeping my mind on things above the beauty of God, the beauty of God. Seated in heavenly places Now you say I'm fully known No, no Lord, I rise up, I rise up My mind on you When it's all over and done with I'll be found in you I rise up, I rise up My mind on you all over and done with, I'll be found in you <clears throat> amen, amen, amen. God bless you guys. Um, hope your weekend was awesome and blessed. Um, just praying for edge protection over everyone. I just want to uh, start this off with the uh, with the prayer. So if y'all ready, let's go ahead and get this prayer on. Father God, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this word today, Lord. Uh, we lift your name up on uh, up on high, Lord. Uh, we give everything to you, Father God. Everything that, that we're facing, Father God, everything that we're dealing with, Lord, in our lives, Father God, we give it all to you, Father God. We pray for peace over our hearts, over our lives, Lord, over our families, our children, and our homes, Father God. We pray for a hedge of protection, Lord. Again, we thank you, Lord, for this word today. We ask for all those who are watching this, Lord, that you bless them, Father God, and that you just continue to, to work in them, Lord, in their hearts, Father God, and whenever they speak of you, Father God, let it be a fire from heaven, Father God. And this we pray in your most precious son, Jesus Christ's name. And we all say, amen, amen. <clears throat> well, um, I just wanted to get this word out today. And um, it's going over something that, you know, that we all deal with. You know, that we all face. And it's something very hard uh, for, some, for a lot of people to overcome. And to get past it and to uh, just to work in the Lord and let the Lord work in us and, you know, all of us be, you know, one big happy family in the Lord. Um, today we're going to be going over forgiveness. 
Yes, I said it, forgiveness, amen? Um, man, that's hard, you know? Especially whenever, uh, when when things happen and, and people come, you know, come and uh, they come in to devour, you know, they, they, they come in to devour uh, a blessing in your life or, you know, just to make it, make things hard in your life, you know, because... You know, there are people out there that, that love to see people fail, love to see people not getting blessed, you know, and, and, and it's horrible, you know. We lift all them people up in prayer. We lift them up to the Lord that uh, that one day they see. They see and they notice what they're doing and what they're saying. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's not going to hurt anybody but themselves. So let us be ready. Let us be guarded. Let us be shielded. Let, let us have the, the full armor of God on us. And uh, that being said, we're going to be going over forgiveness. And I'm going to give you time to go into uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verses 17 through 32. Amen. <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 4, verses 17 through 32. I'm going to go ahead and start reading, guys. <clears throat> With the Lord's authority, I say this: Live no longer as Gentiles do, for they are hopeless, and for they are hopeless, confused, hopelessly confused. Their mind, their minds are full of darkness. They want wander far from the life God had, God gives, because they have closed their minds and hardened their hearts against Him. They have no sense of shame. They live for lustful pleasure and eagerly practice every kind of impurity. But that isn't what <clears throat> what you learned about Christ. Since you have learned about Jesus and have learned the tr that and have learned the truth that comes from Him, throw off your old sinful nature and your former your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on your new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. Amen. So stop telling lies. <laughs> let let uh, let us tell our neighbors the truth, for we are all parts of the same body. And do not sin by letting anger control you. Don't let the sun go down while you while you while you are still angry, for anger gives a foothold to the devil. Verse twenty eight. If you are a thief, quit stealing. Instead, use your hands for good hard work. And then give, give generously to others in need. Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. Verse 30. And do not bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the way, by the way you live. Remember, he has identified you as his own. Wow. Amen. 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 Guaranteeing that you will be saved on the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. And key, 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 key. Instead, be kind to each other, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. Woo! That's some fire today. Amen. That's some fire today. Amen. 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 I say amen to that because a lot of people don't live by the word, man. They 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 live by the flesh. They live by the world. They they live by anger, hate. They 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 live by that, man. They they just love it so much because it makes them feel good, man. But really, it's killing them. It's killing them. Really, they have no salvation. Really, they are dead spiritually. I will no longer let anger, let hate, let unforgiveness rule in this temple right here. You will no longer let hate, anger, and unforgiveness live in your temple. Man, woo, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you feel it. If you feel it, amen. 
but the Holy Spirit is present. The Holy Spirit is on fire. I've been waiting for this message all day. But there's always a, a there's always a season for everything. Have you forgiven? Have you forgiven those that have come before you and have trampled all over you for nothing? Have talked all about you for nothing? Just because they want to see you hurt. They want to see you mad. They want to see you angry. And it makes them feel so good. Okay. Let's get back in the word. Amen. Let's go to Mark chapter 11 verse 25. No, let me rewind that guys. Let's go to Mark chapter 11 verses 12 through 25. Amen. I'll give you a little minute. Let me get through there too. Mark chapter 12, Mark chapter 12, I mean, Mark chapter 11, verse 12 through 25, amen? Amen, 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 everybody there? Okay, 11, chapter uh, 11, chapter 11, Mark chapter 11, verse 12, the 25, I had to say that a couple of times, man. I thought I was reading it wrong. Okay, let's go for it, guys. <clears throat> the next morning, as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. He noticed a fig tree in full leaf a little way off. So he went over, the, over to see it to see if he could find any figs. But there were only leaves because it was too early in the season for fruit. Then Jesus said to the tree, May no one ever eat your fruit again. And the disciples heard him say it. Verse 15. When they arrived back in Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out the people buying and selling animals for sacrifices. He knocked over the tables of the money, uh, the tables of, of, of the money changers and the chairs of those selling doves. And he, and, and he stopped everyone from using the temple as a marketplace. He said to them, the scriptures declare my temple will be called a house of prayer for all nations. But you have turned it into a, a den of thieves. He says, when, when the leading priests and teachers of religious law heard what Jesus has done, they began planning how to kill him. But they were afraid of him because the people were so amazed at his teaching. Verse 19, that even that that evening, Jesus and the disciples left the city. The next morning, as as they passed by the fig tree, he had cursed. The disciples noticed it had withered from the roots up. Peter remembered what Jesus had said to the tree on the previous day and exclaimed, Look, Rabbi, the fig tree you cursed has weathered, has withered and died. Then Jesus said to the disciples, have faith in God. Have faith in God. I tell you the truth. You can say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen and, and it will happen. But you must really believe, he says, you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. Okay. I tell you, you can pray for anything. And if you believe that you received it, it will be yours. But when you are praying, listen to this. But when you are praying, first forgive anyone you are holding a grudge against so that your father in heaven will forgive your sins too. Amen, amen, amen to that because there's a lot of times that we pray to the Lord and, 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 and we're seeking for guidance and, and we want this and we need this and, and, and I mean, we need my brother to be healed. We need my sister to be healed. I need to be healed, Lord, but we're holding on to this unforgiveness. What does he say here? He says, he says, first forgive anyone you are holding a grudge against so that your father in heaven will forgive your sins too. We are all sinners. 
We all hold grudges. We all, we all can't let it go. We can't let it go because we're too what too prideful. I'm not gonna let it go. I'm and I, man, why why should I let it go? I ain't the one that did it. I ain't the one that that hurt this person. I ain't the one that did this did that. You're too prideful to say, hey, I messed up. Hey, I doubt I doubted this brother. Hey, I doubted this sister. Hey, it was my fault. I need I need forgiveness. I I need forgiveness from them. I I need to forgive myself first and foremost. I need to forgive myself because there's a lot of people out there that don't forgive themselves because of the things that they did in their life as well. They're holding on to unforgiveness. They they're not forgiving themselves because of the things that happened in their life, because of the things they've done, and because of people they hurt. You need to forgive yourself before anything. Listen to what the Lord says in his word. Listen to what the Lord says. He says, then the, and then Jesus said to the disciples, have faith in God. I tell you the truth. You can say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen. He says, but you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. I want to pray. That, that I want to pray that this sickness that, 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 that lives in me, that it'll be cast out into the sea. And it's going to be gone because I believe with all my heart, with no doubt, that Jesus Christ is my rock. That Jesus Christ is my healer. That Jesus Christ is here today. That Jesus Christ lives in here. And that he loves me. And that he forgives me of my past sins. Because I have forgiven those who have come up against me. Because I forgive those who have lied about me. Because I forgive those that took from me. And when it lied to all their other little brothers and sisters out there saying that this dude did this and that this dude did that. You know, I held on to a lot of hate in my life th this past couple of years, man. I held on to a lot of hate. I held on to grudges for certain people that did certain things to me and my wife in my life at, in these last couple of years. And I was wondering why I was having unanswered prayers. I was wondering why things weren't falling into place like they should have. Hey, I'm the one that got I'm the one that got uh, uh, done wrong over here, Lord. I'm the one that, that that's being lied to about over here. How are they still receiving all this? And I lost all, everything. We lost everything. And I'm sitting here thinking and wondering what did we do wrong? All that we ever done in our lives and since me and her have been together is love, is love and love and give and give and, and, and man, everything that we could do, we, we've done. People talked about us. People did this. They said that. They took from us. They lied about us. And we're sitting here wondering why Things ain't falling according to plan. We're sitting here why, wondering why the Lord ain't, ain't answering our prayers because we're not forgiving. Because we're not forgiving these people that, that took and lied and, and done us wrong. We're not forgiving them. How hard is that to forgive them? It's very hard. It's very difficult. But whenever you're a child of God, you put that behind the past. You put it behind your back. You walk forward. You continue moving. You continue moving to God. You continue living with Christ. You continue accepting him into your heart. And you continue reading his word and growing. And you just got to get over it. Because at the end of the day, it's your salvation that we're dealing with. It's our salvation that we're missing with. It's our salvation, people. That's what it is at the end of the day. We got we to gotta forget about that. 
We got to forgive these people that hurt us. And whenever we come face to face with them, we got to love them wholeheartedly. We got to love them as, 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 as we love Christ, as Christ loves us. And we got to hug them and embrace them and say, hey, I don't remember anything up to now. I don't remember nothing. You're my brother. You're my sister. I love you. I forgive you. I hope you forgive me if I've done any wrong, any bad to you. And you know what? I just want to move on. You know what? I, I want to grow stronger in the Lord. And if they have a hard time dealing and, and, and not forgiving or whatever it may be, we just got to pray for them. We got to pray, th pray for them and we got to pray that, that, that they really know the true living God. That they really understand the meaning of forgiveness and really understand the meaning of unforgiveness. That we can't continue to act as Christians and, and pray for people and, 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 and doing things for the Lord whenever you're living with unforgiveness in your heart. We can't do that no more. We can't keep lying because Christ sees everything. Christ knows everything. Christ understands what you're doing and he knows and he understands that what you're doing is wrong, but he's not saying nothing. He can't do anything because he's given us the free will. He's given us a free will. What are we going to do at the end of the day? Are we going to forgive are we going to stay in that unforgiveness and that brokenness and that hate and that anger? Man, I'm tired of it. Tired of living in that, man. I want to be happy. I want to be joyful. I want to accept the blessings that the Lord is trying to give me. I want the Lord to, to hear my prayers and answer them wholeheartedly. Jesus don't lie. Jesus don't lie. Jesus is the truth. Why can't we accept that? Why can't we accept that, people? He says here in, the, in, in his word, he says here, he says, Peter remembered what Jesus said to the tree on the previous day and exclaimed, look, Rabbi, the, the, the fig tree you cursed has weathered and died. Then Jesus said to the disciples, have faith in God. Have faith in God. What have we been talking about? We've been talking about faith. Trusting, believing, loving, everything. It all falls into one thing. And that is to love. That is to, that, that is to love. Really love, not to be a faker about it, but to love. And then, and, then, and then he says, I tell you the truth. You can say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen. He says, but you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. I tell you, you can pray for anything. And if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. Dang it. It will be yours. Sorry, guys. I just got a little. Woo. Because. Uh, because I, I, I lived in that for a long time. I lived in that for a long time. And I always said to my wife, if I were to ever run into these people that did me wrong, that, that did us wrong, man, I'm, I'm going to, man, I'm going to, I don't know what's going to happen and, and, and this and that, talking like this and talking like that, like the Daniel was before, that didn't care. But you know what? We got to stop. We got to open our eyes. We got to slow down. We got to give it to God. We got to give it all to God, my brothers and sisters. We can't live in this hate. We can't, we can't, we can't live like this, man. We say we want to, we want to live for God. We, 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 man, I hear all these different things. I want to ride for God. I want to live for God. I'm going to die for God, man. I seen that and I heard that all 
all in, in the word of God with his disciples. Look at Peter. He says, Lord, he says, he says, I will die for you, Lord. He says, I'll do anything for you, Lord. He says, I'll do this. I'll... And then what happened? He denies him three times. We got to be real at the end of the day. We got to live, really live for Christ. We really got to be strong. We really got to put this stuff to practice. We just can't talk about it. We got to be about it, y'all. We got to be about it. Man, I, man I, I'm so crunk and, 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 and it, it's not making me mad. It's just that, that, that the enemy is a liar, that the devil is a liar, man. Man, and, and you know, and, and I just wish I could just like, just knock the dude out. But you know what? I'm knocking him out in prayer, amen. I mean, I'm, I'm knocking him out whenever I read his word. I'm knocking him out whenever I'm, I'm saying, you know what, Lord? I'm going to forgive all these people. And really meaning it, that's the way we knock them out. That's the way we fight the spiritual war. We fight them by kneeling down and praying, by forgiving, by loving, by embracing. Man, God is good, y'all. God is good because he took me out from the darkest of dark. And that was after I've been saved. That was after I've been a pastor. That was after that, that we had a, a, a ministry, a street ministry. After all that stuff, everything that took place in my life to the very end, whenever I say, you know what? Like Pastor Eric said a couple of weekends ago, I'm ready to throw the towel in. I just want to be Daniel. I just want to live like Daniel and how he was before. But you know what? He didn't get me. He didn't. He didn't take me through all that, through all that, just to say I give up. He took me through all that because he really lives in here, because he he abides in here, because this is his temple, and he says, "Look, you made it, son," because you kept believing and you kept trusting in me. You made it. He says, and continue to stand firm and don't be quiet no more. We can't be quiet, y'all. We can't be quiet. We can't be silent. We got to speak up. We got to pray. We got to read. We got we, we, we to forgive. I love you all. I love you all. And I'm going to make a part two of this. And it may be during the week sometime because I don't want to go over. I don't want this video to be too long, but I want to touch. I want there, there's more to this. There's more to this. OK, and I just want you to know that that I love you all and I thank you all for for tuning in and, and watching these videos. Like I said, leave a comment down there. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Um, and I'm not doing this for me. I'm not doing this for any, any kind of publication, for anything, you know, whatever it may be, whatever it's called. I'm not doing it for none of that. God said that I don't need to be silent no more, that you need to find a way. And this is what this is the way that that I feel like I could do this right now and, and preach his word. And, 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 and I just pray that these videos be shared, 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 and shared, and shared because people need to know the truth. People need to hear the truth. People need to see the truth. And when they see the truth is whenever they seen another brother talking the truth or another sister talking the truth and have that, that real, that live fruit living in them, the fruit that it is alive, not dead. That whenever they pray for you, that mountains are moved. That they, whenever they pray for you, they believe with all their heart that they know that you're going to be uh, uh, freed from whatever, you're, from whatever bondage you're in. That you're going to be free in the name of Jesus. And I'm praying for freedom in your life today. I pray for freedom in your life today. I pray that, that whatever you're going through is lifted from you in the name of Jesus. Be safe out there, guys. Love the Lord with all your heart, mind, and soul. Love your brothers and sisters and truly love them. And if you're living in unforgiveness, pray to God tonight. Pray to God that, that this unforgiveness, that that unforgiveness be lifted from your heart. And that you'll be able to see 
as Christ sees, that you will be able to hear as Christ hears, and that whenever you speak, fire will come from your mouth. And that is the word of God. God bless you all. I love you. Till next time, there'll be a part two on this subject right here. And God be with you. God heal you. God lift you. You be safe out there. This is me, Pastor Daniel. God bless you. Much love. Until next time.